name is Yusuf Awakar Yusuf, representing Karaba Central. Uh, this issue of wanton killings has been going on for some time now. The crisis has become impossible to contain. And unless if this hallowed chamber and the National Assembly has taken these things very, very seriously, they will continue. It is my belief that if you have weak laws, you will have weak applications. I come by Section 11 of this Constitution, and by the permission, uh, I may read part of it. The National Assembly may make laws for the Federation or any part thereof with respect to the maintenance and securing of public safety and public order, and providing, maintaining, and securing of such supplies and services as may be designated by the National Assembly as essential supplies and services. Mr. President, sir, distinguished colleagues, uh, I think the law governing, you know, the security architecture of this country need to be overhauled and look at it in total entirety. Uh, the other day, my colleague, uh, Senator Marafa, you know, uh, alleged about the lack of seriousness by his governor in terms of containing the security in that local government. Many areas, they are accusing the governors you know, as part and parcel of these insecurity situations in the, in the country. We accuse the police as not doing, you know, the other day, my, the military the other day was, uh, was, was accused of colluding with our chairman. Senator. So, uh, Your Excellency, so sir, Marafa, and you distinguished know, uh, colleagues, uh, it is my own about uh, opinion. The lack of we should also look at Section 305 of the Constitution <clears throat> and subsection D. I read again, Your Excellency. Uh, if there is a clear and present danger of an actual breakdown of public order and public safety in the Federation or any part thereof requiring the extraordinary measures to avert such danger. So I think we should, as National Assembly, invoke this section, uh, use Section 11 of the Constitution and invoke Section 305, subsection D, to arrest the situation in this country. In that way, I think uh, we will be able to have a good tap on the security. And what this session is simply saying, we should uh, assist the federal government to declare state of emergency in all these flash, flashes while we have this insecurity. Probably, by the grace of God, we should be able to contain the situation. This is my contribution, Mr. President and my distinguished colleagues. I thank you very much.